There's a rugby team called Wasps, which has to lead to the question, do they have a B team? Which I just think is funny, but... Um, I train and coach people in oral communication skills. And you as trainers need to bring your, what you've got in your heads to life. So that people remember it. So that people come back for more and they go, oh yeah, there's another training by the librarian. Great, I've got to go to it. Seriously. <laughs> I'm not being facetious. It's why some American aircraft, like American Airlines, if you've ever noticed, are silver. If you've ever noticed, American Airlines is silver. It's to keep the weight down so they can get an extra six seats in there. If people are laughing, they're learning, and they're relaxed and they're enjoying it and I think it's a great way to get some powerful messages about. A supply teacher has about six seconds to make an impact on this classroom. And if they haven't seized control of the classroom within those six seconds, the children eat them alive. And we know that because children are like Alsatian dogs. They can spot weakness a mile away. Now, we don't lose this. We don't lose this. It's just that when people switch off in your training courses, they won't start throwing things at each other and throwing things at you and staring out the window, but they will start blackberrying. One size does not fit all in training. It doesn't. You can't pitch up and go, ah, here's my little dongle. There it is, slap it in the laptop. This is the one I do everywhere. It's the one I prepared 18 months ago. Two British blokes talking for 20 minutes wouldn't touch each other once, but two Italian men will touch each other 144 times in 20 minutes. And you're thinking, what are they doing? Right? Two Italian men, they're doing this. There's a lot of this. They touch here on this forearm. And what it means is when they're talking is, yeah, it's my turn, it's my turn. Now, I don't know about where you're from, Dominic, but where I'm from in Salford in Manchester, you'll just get stabbed if you do that to people. <laughs> right? It's just no mess. Go on, sit down, mate. Because you can also kind of hold a mirror up to people and say, look, you do this, don't you? Well, these are the reasons why you might not want to do it or why you do do it. So, yeah, it's good. Self-disclosure. And it basically means I tell you a little bit about me and you tell me a little about you. And that is how we start to build rapport. And I hope that's been useful for you. All right, cheers and good luck for the rest of the week. Thank you.